Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Dina and today I'm here with you for another Yarn Talk video. And in this video, we are going to go through some Yarn updates on how my works in progress are doing. And of course, we also at the end of the video are going to have a quick scheduling of what's um, gonna come out on the channel this week. So there are plenty of things uh, to talk about. But you guys know, at least if you have been watching several of my videos, that we cannot talk yarn without me having my faithful mug of tea here, which today is just, <clears throat> sorry, a black tea with a flavor of orange. So it's like an orange flavored a black tea. Um, it is really a morning fruit tea. It's a bit grayish outside and a bit chilly, almost like autumn, even though it's spring. Um, at least the ground and soil has had quite some water this spring so hopefully it will soon get more even more sunny we have had plenty of good sunny days but we can still use some more sunny days that would be nice i'm kind of eager for um for the spring really to to break through and, and stay with us at least i'm happy that um the light outside is much lighter than it were just a couple of months ago um so so yeah that's nice um yes so projects um i am progressing pretty well on my zigzag scarf um and this scarf i do at least as a minimum two rows crocheting uh, a day and last yarn talk video was on a tuesday last week due to easter um i provided you with a very nice little yarn haul video as compensation for not ping around on the monday um, and you took all that very, very well. So thank you very much for understanding it. And I hope everyone have had a great Easter. And for those who celebrate Easter this weekend, because they are of the Greek Orthodox um, Catholic Church, I wish you all a happy Easter. Um, the rest of us celebrated it last week. Um, so um, the six scarf scarf is progressing really well. And I started as of the week before inserting these stitch markers to help me keep track of the progress and here you have my stitch marker and now you can see how far i made it since last week tuesday it must be so i've had six days and i did more than two rows on average a day on this it's also partially to do with the fact that i've decided um that i want to finish this basically um i could probably still do more but i still have this motivation of now I'm kind of like at a pace where I'm like, okay, it's just time to get it done. Like I would really like to do another project. Um, I guess we all have that when we have been working on a project for a specific amount of time, especially when it's very repetitive, like this one is. Um, so while you can see this is the point I've reached, this would be the whole scarf so far and i'm at about 180 19 grams of the full skein um and there is about 150 if i'm not wrong i think it's 150 grams it does say yeah 150 so um i probably have like 30 ish odd rows to go is i guess um each row is around a gram Maybe a bit less, maybe a bit more, um, but that seems like a good estimate. Um, and yeah, um, I'm not sure if I will reach to have it done for next week's Arm Talk video, but I know for sure that in two weeks' time, it, it's most definitely finished. Like, I don't see why it shouldn't be, unless something really badly happens to me, or time-wise, or whatever, um, which we also don't hope. I, I don't see a reason why this scarf shouldn't be done by then and we are slowly getting to a pace where you can get a good feeling of how it drapes and it drapes pretty okay um it's crocheted with a three and a half millimeter hook not sorry not three and a half three millimeter hook and it is a very fine fine yarn and it's 20 percent wool and 80 percent acrylic you can see it has this slight slight halo um 
yeah, it's it's working out really, really nice. So that's basically just a slow work in progress, but it is progressing. Um, I have very little left in this game. So this will be like the last 30-ish or so grams. Um, and doing two rows, a minimum a day, it's 14 rows until the next shot or video, because I need to do my two rows for today still. Um, and I will probably do more than that. It kind of also depends on everything, right? And, uh, and how busy everything is. Sometimes I do have a little bit of time um, at work or between my, or during my breaks to, to crochet a bit as well. So um, that scarf is definitely gonna be done within the next two weeks. Yay! I like when I see closer to the end. Um, except for that, I've been working on my baby blanket and the baby blanket, I shall honestly admit, because I've put a little bit more attention to my scarf, I've not done as much, but we are also slowly reaching a stage in this blanket where progress is more difficult to be seen because I work in the round and each round gets larger and larger and larger, which means basically you have way more material to get through before you can actually see the actual progress. That's the thing that sucks about working in the round um, when it's a constant increase. Um, and let's see. So I just tangled the extra one because I currently are a place where I don't need my extra um stitch marker but the blue is where i left off um and what i've done is basically i continued crocheting the shell stitches until i made the round complete so i did like three quarter of a round yeah that's it so it's not much um, as you guys know, as I've see, said, um, I will need to block this one before I'm done because I can see, I, you can also see when I hold it up, it's a little bit unaligned and it's simply just because it needs a little bit good stretching and a little bit of a good wash and then it will be beautiful when we're done. And I still like how soft this is. It's working up really, really nicely. Um, I've used about 100 grams of the 150 grams on this skein. You can also see it starts to get a bit wonky. Um, and I definitely need way more to add on here. Um, I believe that I will probably continue with the white once the skein is done um, for a bit um, before I even consider adding um, the pink part um, for this. I haven't really decided on a size for the blanket. Um, but I guess I'm aiming for something like that's at least a meter by a meter, maybe a bit more, maybe 120-ish. It could be that I do um, a meter. Yeah, that's maybe what I'm going to end up doing, but let's see. Like a meter in diameter and then the border of three or four rows of pink and then another border of the equal to white and that's probably like 120-ish or so. Um, maybe... Maybe I'll do that. Um, I think the first goal is to get this at least a meter large um, in diameter, and then we'll take it from there. And that will still be a little bit to go, um, because right now it's probably like 40-ish or so centimeters. So, um, plenty of crocheting to go. And the thing is, I'm using my four and a half millimeter hook for this project. Um, and I do enjoy that I have a bit thicker yarn to work with, but I can also feel that um, it it kind of requires a different sort of movement from my hand and, and wrists making this blanket than, for example, the zigzag scarf, which is a nice nice exchange for, for the things I do. Um, it's, it's as well as a long-term project, but it's something where we'll do a little bit here and there when I feel I need a break and still, as mentioned earlier, I am going to focus on getting the zigzag scarf done before um, anything of the rest because I just, I'm just i just at a pace where I'd like to kind of get done and, and over with it, um, which I'll probably eventually reach with other projects as well. I think we all have a 
at least us who works on several projects always have a tendency of um, how can I best say it um, we have a tendency of being good at sharing the efforts and eventually we have one of the projects that gets more attention because we want to get it done for either because we have a deadline or just because we want to get it done and, and over so we can do something else um, and yeah I like the concept of being able to say hey um, this is what I'm doing now or um, or just you know like I really appreciate the fact that I've said, said I need to do at least this many round of rows and that it doesn't disappoint me um, the progress I've done. Um, I guess we all have the different ways of doing things. How do you um, plan your works? Except for, of course, we all need to do it when we have fun. That's that's curious to know. But yeah, so the last thing that I am currently working on is the uh, Leaf on Me West, which is the back panel, which is the first panel of the three panels I'm going to be making. And we talked a bit about it last time, and I have concluded that I will be making um, the V-shaped front panels. Um, but the first thing I have to do is that I'm slowly reaching the pace, or the, not the pace, huh? the stage where I have to um, decrease a little bit to make room for, um, I wouldn't say the sleeves, but uh, the gaps for the arms. Um, and I am debating if I want to add an extra row um, and decrease the length because when I look at the pattern, at least the photos that are the patterns, it looks like um, it starts pretty low. So like you have plenty of airy space around and I'm wondering if that's what I really want. If I want one that's a little bit higher before it kind of closes in without of course being too tight because you would like to have something that's still pretty loose, which is fair to, to this airy pattern. Um, I've made since last two full repeats of the pattern. So that's how much did I calculate it was? Six rows? Five rows? Five rows repeat? Six rows repeat? I'm trying to find it. Just a moment. I think I told it once. Um, so this would be the print portion of the pattern. And it is a two, it's a five row repeat. So I've done 10 rows um, since last. So this would be where I ended last time. And this would be where I'm at. So um, this is how we are currently looking for the back panel. And it is a slightly oversized vest. Um, so it is meant to be drapey and loosey on you. And you can really see this beautiful, if I must say so, very beautiful leafy pattern um, that's popping up. Um, and one of you guys told me that it would be great to see if you can incorporate these leaves somehow like in a... In a, in a throw or um, like in a wrap or in a scarf and I really want to see if that's possible uh, but I've seen them done in um, a rectangular ones which is just like too easy and classy I think I want to try to do it in a triangle or scarf or something like that but it's not gonna be something I have to puzzle with because it's not gonna be easy it's absolutely gonna be um somewhat of a challenge but i like a good challenge um who knows maybe i designed something absolutely amazing for you guys and you will look forward for me to share it um but yeah so so that's kind of the progress on this one so far i like how this is drapey it's very look it's very flexible and it's made of the lovely um, hobby twister solid a yarn um, I am almost actually at a place where I need to replace this skein because I have very very little left and I put it in a nice little bowl um, to easier keep track of my cake and it's almost falling apart now it's also just like very 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 little left so I'll need to replace that my next step for this is to make some measurements on my body to find out if I want to add one more row of repeat before I start decreasing uh, for the arm um, gaps. Um, I think I might do that just because, yeah. I will have to do some measurements in any case to see what would be more suitable and more functional for me um, and for what I want. So that's a good thing. And actually, this is what I love about crocheting your own garments and what I love about creating your own. Even though you might follow a pattern, we can always adapt just a little bit. 
to make it fit our personal needs and desires and designs. Um, so if my style is like, I'd like something flared, or I like something nothing flared, or I like it tight, or I like it loose, or whatever, you know, we can always adapt to, to make it fit exactly what we want. It's, it's a part of our creative freedom of crocheting, right? We can design it to, to whatever we would like and whatever our needs would be. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's... The next step is measure, see if I want to add one more row, which is possible. I think there is a high chance that I'll do it, but um, I will let you know next next week for the next yarn talk update. Um, and then I will start decreasing and then we are getting closer and closer to the top end. And then we'll have two more front panels to go and then they need to get uh, sewn slash crocheted together and, and I'll have my full rest, hopefully. Um, but I don't expect this one to be done before, like March maybe or so. We will see how far it goes. Um, except for that, um, we should shortly talk a little bit about the scheduling on this channel. And, um, the scheduling is, as of right now, we have an ongoing a giveaway running. And in this giveaway, you can win one of these extremely awesome Stanley cake yarns um, and some ice yarns. So if you haven't participated in my giveaway uh, and you would like some of those yarns, I have a chance at winning them, um, please check my giveaway. I did link to it here in the description box down below so that you can go watch it and enter if you would like it. The giveaway winner is going to be drawn on Thursday. So Thursday morning is when I will be drawing the winner and the giveaway is open until 8.30. 30 a.m. Central European time. So yeah, check it out because Thursday I will going to post the winning video. Hey, so stay tuned for that one. On Friday, I will come to you with another yarn haul video because my stash is ever growing. And this is also one of the reasons I can have some giveaways for you guys. Um, but um, stay tuned for that one. It's a yarn haul from Hobby. Um, containing a few different yarns that I'm happy to share, but it's not a cake filled yarn hole, though it does have a few cakes, but they're more like a solid colored, but I don't want to say too much about it. I would say, hey, stay tuned for watching my yarn hole from Hubby on, um, on Friday. It does have, I think it's one of those, um, what are they called? Sparkly, um, Sparkly lucky bags. Hey, but stay tuned for that because there's a lucky bag in the giveaway, in the in the yarn haul as well. And then of course I will see you Monday for a new yarn talk video. If you're still watching this, I would like to say thank you very much for watching this video in full and for supporting me. If this is your first time watching any of my videos and if you haven't done yet, do please subscribe to my channel. It's help supports me. Give the video a like, feel free to give me a comment because comments as well help supporting me. Um, it's been a pleasure sharing my yarn progress with you guys. And who knows, maybe somehow magically I reach to finish my zigzag scarf before next week. If I do, we'll party and I will um, come with the next project for you guys. If not, then we kind of know what we are going to be discussing, but it's... It's getting closer to finish and that means that next week in any case i will be presenting my next project for you guys and some yarn that i will be using for working with it um yeah and i'm also preparing for some reviews of some yarn and some crochet hooks there are much more to come up on this channel so therefore please stay tuned hit that little bell to be notified when i do post new videos take care um have lots of yarny good adventures ahead until we meet again